Hi, I'm BJ Jarvis and I'm here in the Florida Friendly Landscape behind the Extension Service Office in Lakanto. Spring is really in full swing right now. Lots of plants are producing beautiful flowers. The red buds have been in bloom. Dogwood has been in bloom. Lots of stuff coming and going. Our native azaleas are in full bloom, so you should come out and see what all is happening in our learning landscape. But there are some other things that are happening in the garden right now that you know, may be of concern to folks. So I wanted to share a couple of things that we have really seen a lot this spring and what you should do, if anything, about them. So the first thing that's been happening is something with our trees. There is something called a gall, and that is this little thing. It was uh, on a tree, and it produces these really large pods that are not seed pods. Um, actually, if you have an oak tree, they are very common on oaks, and when you pop them open, this is what they look like on the inside. Very interesting, and actually all this is is a protective mechanism for a little tiny wasp. It's not the harmful kind that stings you. It is a wasp that um, uh, is, is quite small. You probably don't even notice it in the garden. And the adult female will lay an egg on the plant, and this is the way the plant reacts in the little critters on the inside. So um, the good news is, that although these are large and rather dramatic looking, especially if you have a lot of them on your, on your plants, that they are not really damaging at all. So the second thing, um, and you don't need to worry about those. So the second thing that has been a real interesting thing in the garden this year has been armadillos. And we'll look at that in just a second. Armadillos are just digging up the gardens. They are uh, rooting around under the plants and the mulch and the grass. Um, and almost always that rooting around occurs in very dry, sandy soils, which pretty much describes almost all of Citrus County. And then on top of that, um, they are rooting around for insects. So what they're doing is they're looking around for something to eat. In the meantime, they can cause some damage to plant roots. And if you have new plantings, annuals, perennials, maybe even new shrubbery, they can cause damage to the roots and they may even uproot the plant. Not a lot you can do about armadillos. They are nocturnal, so you may not even see them out in your garden. Um, and they smell around with their nose. So they're really focusing on their nose as, and that tactile sense of when they run into things and smell the insects in the ground. So all of those um, traps that you see um, advertised often don't do a great job because they run into the trap with their nose and they go around it. So unfortunately, if you have armadillo, that can be quite the challenge. Um, so one of the things you can do is to try to reduce the insects. So basically clean up the buffet, if you will, um, so that their uh, all you can eat buffet doesn't have much to eat on it and maybe they'll move on. Um, and, uh, you know, and try some of those things. But unfortunately, I don't have a silver bullet for fixing the armadillo problem. Now, the third problem that we are seeing a lot in the garden is, um, is actually the start of the problem. You really, most gardeners don't even identify this problem until much later in the season, middle of the summer, end of the summer, when this little critter gets quite large. So I'm gonna take it out of, the, out of my, uh, my holding chamber here. And these little guys, oh, even when they're cold, they're already jumping around. You probably didn't even see them. Um, these are very small little insects that are the immature, the, the babies of the giant uh, southern lubber grasshopper. Can you see that little guy? Uh, they come out of the ground in groups, sometimes 30 or 40 at a time, brothers and sisters. Um, all had their eggs laid in the ground early in the year. Uh, early uh, the fall of last year and so now that it's early in the year they are coming out and you can see them on my table here jumping around even though I had them on some cold packs to try and slow them down just a little bit. These little guys are eating machines so as they grow they will double triple quadruple in size until in the fall they are those great big two three four inch long giant lubber grasshoppers. At this stage, they can only hop away, and you can see how tiny they are, so they can't hop far or fast. 
That means if you see one, look around for more because almost always they hatch all in the same day. They will climb to the highest point they can find. Sometimes that's your pool cage and so they're they're all along, you know, up and down the pool enclosure. Other times it's just a blade of grass. So that's the highest thing that they can find nearby. They don't have wings yet, so they can't fly away. Um, and since they are eating machines, they are going to enjoy feasting on your favorite plants. So this is the time of the year when they're easy to catch and easy to kill. So how do you, how do you try to control them? There are some chemicals on the market. Obviously choose the least toxic method first. We always recommend that. Um, but since these guys aren't moving far and fast, one of the best approaches to controlling them is the bottom of your shoe. So you can easily step on them, squash them, and kill them, and that is 100% effective and doesn't cause any unintended consequences with, that other chemicals might. So these little guys, I know they're tiny now, about the size of a dime, but they're going to get big, so you want to catch them early before they become a big problem. So these are three of the things that we're seeing here in this uh, garden this spring. Some, some things like the gall are really unique, but not a problem. The armadillos, they're a bit of a problem, but I don't have the answer to that. And then the last thing are these immature um, grasshoppers, and they are certainly a problem and you wanna get right on that. So if you have gardening questions, please stop by and visit us at the Extension Office. We're part of the University of Florida. We're here at the Lacanto Government Center. Information is free and we'd be happy to help you with your particular gardening problem.